What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is about waterproofing. So if you've been watching the channel a little while, you'll know that I don't really shy away from mud or water. In this video, I'm gonna show you some different techniques that I use to keep my stuff waterproof or at least weatherproof. Not everything is gonna be submergible, but um, I try my best. Anyway, let's get to the interesting bit of this video. We're gonna chuck this WL Toys A959 into that bucket of water. I'm gonna see how long it lasts. These are quite well waterproof from stock. The servo's not, but the ESC has got some waterproofing on it, and I'll show you that in a minute. But so let's... we're gonna stick this in that bucket. We're gonna see how long it lasts. I've fully waterproofed this. Um, so the servo's waterproofed, the ESC has been fully waterproofed. Um, so I'm gonna show you. Hopefully it's gonna sink. It's got a, uh, a weighted wheel attached to it. This water's probably gonna get quite dirty as we go in because this truck is a bit dirty. Anyway, here we go, it's going in, it's switched on. It's in. Right, take two, we had a bit of an issue with signal, so I've put the aerial on the outside now. This water, it's really cold. So we've got a few signal problems, which is normal for these um, 2.4 gigs. As you can see, still going. I mean, sticking this in, let's try this. Yeah, still working. That's better actually, I think, oh no. Yeah, a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, the transmitter's waterproof as well. So straight out of the bath, Give it a bit of a shake off and you can see that even though it was uh, a bit of a signal issue in the uh, water, you can see now that Right, waterproofing. Right then, let's talk about um, waterproofing and I'm going to show you a few different components here and a few different techniques. Um, so as you saw, this uh, it's done okay, did have a problem with signal, and I did mention that 2.4 gig is an issue um, with the signal. I've heard if you use an old school like uh, the 27 megahertz, I think it is, or 48 um, radio, you get better coverage in water. I've yet to try that, but I'm definitely gonna try it. And if you see this thing in the background, if you've been on the channel a while, you've probably not seen this for a bit. This thing, fully submergible, um, I did have a little aerial stuck in there, I broke it off unfortunately, but I had a little aerial stuck on there and that's where the aerial came up, just to give it a little bit more range. This thing is like a submarine. Link to the video just up here, I'll leave it in the description as well, but this thing, um, crazy. Completely 100% waterproofed, you have to weigh these down um, loads, it's got a load of uh, weight in the back there and it's definitely, yeah. Uh, Definitely not light, also holes in here to stop it floating, but that was a task in itself, just to get this actually riding on the bottom of the lake. But anyway, check that video out if you've not seen it, pretty good. So, let's start with a servo first. Now there's a few different tips or a few different things you can do with servos. Um, the one in the WL Toys by Plasti Dipped, uh, which is this stuff. If you're not sure on Plasti Dip, it comes in spray form or it comes in little tubs like this 
this is a clear one and it just as you can see it's um it's a bit slimy in there mine's uh, starting to set a little bit when you first get it it's a bit like runnier and um, what you can do what you need to do with servos i mean a lot of stuff you can dip it in and then let it dry off but with a servo obviously you've got moving parts you don't want to be doing that so before you plastic dip it it's always a good idea to or well, this is what i do anyway i shall show you so take the uh, screw there's usually four screws in the bottom of these servos wind them out so once you've got the screws out, like I said, be careful, you'll get the internal gears there for the servo. Get some marine grease, or any grease, but marine grease is the best one. Smear a load of marine grease over that, uh, and then stick the top back on. Screw it back down, and then you can plasti dip it. So when you are, get your paintbrush, you plasti dip, um, paint it on, paint it all over. Avoid the area where the, um, the actual um, splines are. The grease in there will stop water getting in or as much as possible um, so don't worry about that but plastic dip everywhere else make sure if this has got a bracket over it um, or if it's going to screw down on something make sure you leave enough room for instance on this one it had a bracket so I put the bracket on it and then I plastic dipped over it all including the bracket so that when I went to fit it there was no issues with fitting it so just bear that in mind just bear that in mind when you are putting plastic dip on a servo make sure you know um, how it's going in to avoid it sort of because it's quite thick this stuff so you don't want it to sit wrong so that's how i waterproof servos i've also used conformal coating to spray over them that works quite well just for weatherproofing but if you want full waterproof recommend plastic dip you can go with if that's if you haven't got plastic dip you can use just normal like bathroom sealant I mean, you might do a better job than me of it, but you can seal it all up like that. And that will do the same job. This is quite flexible, so that will probably fit in most places. But as you can see, it's not the neatest job. A little tip for this sealant as well. If you are putting this sealant on, as soon as you've squared it on, get your finger wet and rub it, and it won't stick to your finger. Keep your finger nice and wet, and you'll be able to smooth all that out. So that's another option. Sealant, plastic dip, or conformal coating, more for... Um, weatherproofing rather than completely waterproofing ESCs now most ESCs nowadays are waterproofed I'm just going to put a picture up now of the WL Toys one you'll see that did have like a um, a varnish on it the only thing I found with that was there was cracks in place it was quite brittle and quite hard um, so it's definitely worth checking even if it says it's waterproof it might be an idea just to check over it and um, to see now what you've got to be careful with ESCs, if you use Plasti Dip, it keeps all the heat in. So if it's running, you know, high power, you may overheat it. If it's in like a um, a small scale vehicle or a crawler or something that's not using a massive amount of power, you may be all right with Plasti Dip. But I recommend conformal coating for ESCs. So I should be able to get this out. Just take care when you're taking these apart. You don't want to break anything. So you can see this one as well is also waterproofed. I mean, I'm struggling to find one of my ESCs that isn't. Um, but yeah, this one's got, looks like conformal coating and um, like silicon over it. So that looks like a pretty good waterproof um, ESC that. I'm not sure what it's off. It might be a HG um, truck or something. But anyway, if you've got an ESC that's more like just a circuit board rather than a nice waterproof one like that, little tip with conformal coating it comes in a spray can like this or you can get it in little tubs much cheaper to buy the bigger tubs i mean there's people selling some of the little tubs like nail varnish ones i've seen for on ebay for like 13 14 quid which is about 20 dollars um a lot cheaper to buy this get the top of like a spray can or something spray it in uh, in a well ventilated area <coughs> and then you'll end up with yeah conformal coating in there leave it for a little bit because if you leave it it start thickening up i'm not gonna leave this because it'll take too long but once it's thickened up a bit get your paintbrush in and just paint it on 
nice and easy. Let it flow around all the components on there. If you've got a little antenna, just lift that out of the way. Paint all round with your conformal coating. Leave it for about half an hour, it'll get a bit sort of sticky and tacky and do another coat. And what you want to do is try and get enough layers on so you've got a nice thick coat over all the metal contacts on there and that should give you a decent amount of waterproofing. Um, in my experience, conformal coating is okay, but it's not the best. It doesn't sometimes doesn't give a full seal because it doesn't run into all the places uh, that you want it to but it's definitely helped me out massively. If whatever you've got it fitted to does stop when you're in water, the likelihood is you can just take it out, shake it, leave it for a bit and it'll go again fine. So do both sides. Make sure you don't get it in any of the contacts, but the most important side is the side here with all the components on it. Um, this side's not as important, but where you've got all these little chips and stuff like that, make sure you give these sides a really good coating conformal coat in and it should help you out so for ESC's conformal coat in low powered stuff you can use um, plasti dip this is not generate if it's not generating too much heat then this will give you a much better weather seal so we've done servos ESC's I mean this goes this conformal coat in a few people have asked about my ESS dual sound kit it's only got a little circuit board like this in it. Carefully take it apart, coat it with conformal coating, and then you've got yourself a waterproof sound kit as well. And then we get on to receivers. Now, these are generally the things that don't come waterproof unless you specifically buy a waterproof one. And um, there's not many about, but these things are what you really need to be um, waterproofing. So a few options on this. My preferred option, get yourself some extenders, depending on how many channels you want. There's the three channel receiver, but I'm only using two on it and I've blanked the others off with just some old um, servo plugs. The reason I've done that, stop any plastic or any sealant getting all stuck in there and it also gives you a bit of a better seal as well. So that's why I've done that. And then all you do with these, this is the really easy one. Get a nice fresh tin of plastic dip. Again, hold your aerial out of the way as best possible. And all you do is dip it in. I'm not gonna do it on this because my plastic dip started to go off, like I said, but dip it in, hold it up. The plastic dip will drip a little bit, but leave it held up like that for a little while and it'll it start dry, it starts drying quite quick. Dip it back in, and you can do that as many times as you want to get a nice thick seal all the way around your receiver, and you want it kind of up to you can see where this had some on it. You want it right up to the uh, the cables. Or oh, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. Let me dip it in here. I might have to use a brush to push it in, but. That is what she said. Right, so get it right in there, right into the sticky stuff. And as you'll see as I pull it out, I mean, that's already got, oh, I forgot my aerial. That has already got a really thick layer on it. It looks like it's in a little bubble. Anyway, um, you can do that. Get rid of the excess from underneath. Just use your paintbrush. Roll that off. And then leave that to dry. Now, this has gone on a, a lot thicker than it usually does because of how my plastic dip is, because it's quite old, but it should be a lot thinner than that. But you can do a few dunks and that'll set um, nicely on there. If you don't want to go the plastic dip method, you can do conformal coating. Again, take your um, receiver apart the same as we've done with the ESC and just coat the circuit board on the receiver uh, with a conformal coating. Make sure you don't go over the metal, uh, like your little servo um, plugs, uh, because it will um, stop the seal getting through. And you can do it conformal coating way. You can also do it with sealant as well in the same sort of method with the plastic dip cover it all over making sure you've got them um, making sure you've got the extension cable so you can plug your stuff in and using grease on stuff does help a lot so if you don't want to do any proper weather sealing if you are going out um, with your trucks put a load of grease on it you can always wipe it off stick a load of grease around the diffs around where the drive shafts go in you can stick some of this grease around the servo horn and stuff and it will prevent some of the water getting in give you the best chance of your 
RC surviving. Anyway, cheers for watching. I'm going to go and play with this now. I'll see you next time.